Hello, Mr. Camilo. Yes. Um, can you tell us who the delegation is? Yeah, we're here with the Mississippi River Commission. The Mississippi River Commission is a presidential commission appointed to oversee flood control, navigation, environmental improvements on the Mississippi River. We're here with our uh, our uh, uh, stakeholders, the uh, Pacific Ocean Division with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and we're here to partner with our sister river partnership group from the uh, Mekong River Commission. And why are you visiting the, the Sayabri Dam today? Uh, the, we are visiting the Zyberry Dam. We came here in 2017 when it was under construction. At that time, there was many thousands of workers out here busily working and putting the dam together. And now we're here to see the final product and to try to learn a little bit from the Mekong River Commission what some of their challenges were in terms of how they uh, constructed the dam and how they did the fish passages and the studies and how they uh, in, in, did engagement with the public to learn how uh, to best move forward with the project. And so I know you had a question about hydropower and uh, Colonel Van Epps, who's a member of the Mississippi River Commission from our Northwest Division, which has all of the hydropower dams uh, in, in, within our footprint. He's gonna answer that question best for you. So I'm uh, very grateful to have the opportunity to visit the Shirebury Dam and to see the differences between the infrastructure here and the infrastructure that we have uh, operated by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers back in the United States. Um, some of the significant differences that, uh, that we've seen really lie in the, the uh, modern uh, aspects of, of this facility compared to ours, which uh, you know, are, are apparent because the ones that we have in the United States in some cases date back to the 1930s, at least the ones that uh, might have been responsible for. And so what we have in, in, in our facilities back in the United States are, are more, um, they're more mature. Uh, operations and maintenance requirements are increasing. Uh, but on the other hand, on the upside, we've been able to make some adjustments to how, to, how we operate them to optimize, for example, um, how we uh, produce power through the uh, turbines uh, as we've upgraded those over time. Uh, and also our fish facilities are a little more optimized because we've had a longer period of time to collect data and make adjustments to our, our fish passage operations. Uh, I think what we'll see here in the next few years will be very exciting as, as this facility reaches maturity and as, as we have an opportunity to uh, learn new things about power production, uh, to see the value of navigation and also to understand more about how fish passage can most efficiently and effectively be conducted here on the Mekong River.